Hey folks, here at OS Reviews, you're watching our video review of the Lonvi Digital MP4 player, the slim MP4 player. It has a 1.8 inch display, 16 gigabytes of built-in internal storage, and sells on Amazon for just $20, which is incredibly inexpensive. This is the fourth very similar MP4 player that we've reviewed this month. However, there are a few things that distinguishes this particular model from the others that we checked out. For example, you'll find out the accessories included here are a bit stronger, and also the presentation is going to be a bit stronger as well. So it's a better value for the money, but everything else, including the functions and how it performs, is essentially the same. Upon a cosmetic glance, it basically is a iPod Nano clone. Of course, the quality is not going to be as strong, but that's basically what you can expect out of this uh, particular device. Taking a look at the box here, it's also very similar to an actual iPod Nano, but uh, of course performance, again, is not going to be nearly as good. With that being said, at only 20 bucks, it is only a fraction of the price of an actual iPod Nano, so that is something to consider. This is good if you're going on vacation, you don't want to bring something ultra expensive with you. It's also good for kids to have to play around with. So in here we have access to the actual digital MP4 player, which we'll take a look at in a moment. And the actual contents includes the earphones. Rather than the usual crappy earphones that you receive inside of the box, these ones are modeled off of the Apple EarPods, and sound quality is a bit more clean and crisp than the other ones that we saw. The design is also a bit more sophisticated, and it's basically, again, a clone of the Apple EarPods, which is, again, kind of ridiculous. However, again, the audio quality is better than the other ones that we've seen, so that is a plus. In addition, you'll also see a lanyard included on here for attaching it uh, when you're on the go, something that you don't, you don't get with the other versions. And there is also the mini USB USB cable for charging and syncing takes about two hours to completely charge, which is pretty fast. Battery life lasts for around a month before I had to recharge it with sporadic usage in between. And there's also an instruction manual slash quick start guide, and that's basically it. So there are a few extras in the box that are stronger than the competition. The actual MP4 player is crafted out of aluminum, so it's not plastic. It feels pretty good in the hand uh, from a hardware standpoint. The top feature is a power on off switch and the memory is integrated, so there is no micro SD card slot to expand the memory. On the bottom, you have access to a lanyard strap, a 3.5 mm headphone jack, and also a mini USB port for charging and syncing, and that's basically it. The front feature is the display, which looks like it's concurved, but really is just flat underneath a concurved plastic. And you'll find access to a four-way navigation toggle. Uh, the OK key here doesn't really do too much as you'll find and the main menu UI is something we've seen many many times it's not too terribly intuitive either uh, but there are a ton of features that you can explore otherwise again this is not a real capacitive scroll wheel otherwise uh, it's not like the actual iPod Nano so you don't actually get anything by moving around like this. You have to press the keys and they are pretty tactile and responsive. So taking a look here we have access to the music player which is uh, Again, pretty much no frills, just tap on the menu key there to go in, as opposed to the center key. So it's not, again, very intuitive, but there are a few sample songs on here like My Love, I Can Skip, there's also uh, Cry On My Shoulders, there's a graphic equalizer, also uh, access to the volume on the very top, in addition to the battery status and the song selection. When you're done playing a song, you tap on the menu key for a few seconds longer to exit out of it. And the MP3 player functionality is decent. The audio tracks on here um, play back pretty smoothly and you can play and pause your music decently, I would say. It's not as strong as a iPod Nano, of course, in terms of the quality of the music that you get out of this, but it can get pretty loud. And for 20 bucks, we're not really complaining. There's also the ability for you to, again, go next and view some images and videos. The movie play on here supports basically only MP4 files and that's pretty much uh, it. And as far as frame rates are concerned, they're okay, but they're a little bit slow as well. If I press on play there, it's gonna hopefully launch into one of the songs. So there we go. You can see that this is how it looks like when it's playing back a uh, video selection. Now the quality of the video is decent. I would say that the display itself offers a okay viewing angle experience. Um, it kind of loses the contrast if you tilt it at extreme angles, but overall it's bright enough to be seen under uh, direct sunlight as well, which is something that we didn't really expect. That's always a plus. So exiting out of the movie player, the next function on here is a voice recorder. It does a good job of recording any voice memos and notes you might have, perhaps at a business meeting or when you're traveling, but it's not a noise canceling microphone, so it's not going to do as well under noisier environments. The next feature here is the ability for you to play back your voice memos, and that's 
pretty much explanatory. There is an FM radio like on the other models. Uh, it has a built-in antenna, so you don't need to plug in headphones to access this functionality. You can also scan for a better reception by pressing on the skip key for a few seconds longer. It will automatically tune and record any channels that offer a stronger reception. So let's exit out of that. The next feature here is the photo browser, which is again pretty simple. It acts as a digital photo frame to play back a few sample uh, images. And you can see how it's pretty fast to scan through the various images as well. Uh, on older generation MP4 players, it actually took five seconds to load an image just because the processor wasn't fast enough. But it seems like on the newer MP4 players we've been checking out, at least that is a vast improvement um, in terms of the speed and the performance there. And that's basically it. There's a setup guide and also an ebook reader, but again, ebook reading is probably the most worthless functionality on here just because the screen is tiny and also it's a LCD display as opposed to ink so it's not going to be very comfortable at all. There's also a ability for you to play a few games that are built in. There is Boxman, Tetris, and Snake uh, that you can use to waste a bit of time and this will probably entertain kids when they're traveling so that is a fun feature to have. Very classic games, very simple to figure out uh, just like on some Nokia phones in the past you get this on here as well. So at the end of the day, the Lon V Digital MP4 player is probably one of the stronger uh, ones out there in terms of the sub $20 category. It features a good construction quality and the menu UI is still a little bit confusing, but I found it to be not as bad as some other ones we've seen. The processor speed is decent and the accessories that you get in the box are also uh, better quality than the ones that we got from the other MP4 players that we checked out recently, uh, which is another plus. So to learn more information about this particular device, be sure to read our full written review. This has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS.